Big Daddy here with a video on a shortcut or a little script file to restart Plasma. So when I do themes and when I do when I change my theme, uh, usually most of the time you'll have to log out, log back in to catch all of the theme changes. Well, to make it a little bit easier, I uh, searched around, and by no means is this the, an exhaustive uh, technical whatever you call it, video on the ways to do it. This is just the easiest way that I've found out how to do it. So there's a couple ways to do it. I guess one of the easiest ways would be to just hit Alt F2 and uh, bring up the little K runner. And if you start typing in kill all plasma shell, now I don't know if it'll come up on yours. It may come up on mine just because I've run it before. but um, this is the command, kill all plasma shell and k start plasma shell. Now, if you're running KDE 4, I think it used to be the command was plasma desktop. So it would be kill all plasma desktop and then k start plasma desktop. But for plasma 5, it is plasma shell. So if you do this and you hit enter, K runner will run that in the terminal. And what it does is it kills all plasma and then it restarts it. So then you can see any changes that have been made. And it's a lot quicker. If you have a lot of things going on, you don't want to close your browser out. Um, you, you just don't want to close everything out that you're doing right now. But you want to see the changes in what you're doing. You run that command and it, it, uh, it fixes it for you. Okay, so I made a little script file and made a shortcut for it and I'm going to show you how to do it and it's not it's not really hard at all okay so you go to your home folder or where you want to place this shortcut you right click on an open space and you create new text file you're going to name this text mo text file whatever you want to name it we're just going to say plasma restart okay so you got to put the sh on the end of it, which basically tells it it's a script file. So you hit OK, and for whatever reason, Dolphin doesn't like me at the moment, or, or it doesn't like me in Plasma. So you have to actually uh, go in and go out in order to see what the file that you just made. So I don't know why. It's just not refreshing the way it's supposed to. So here's your little script file that you made but you got to put something inside of it so you right click on it and you open with any text editor k write g edit whatever you're using and you're going to place this command in it now you can type it all out but for the video's sake i'm just going to copy and paste it because i have it here and that's the command and you hit save all right the only other thing that you got to do with that because if you click it, all you're going to really do is open it up in K, right? So you right click and you hit properties. And then you go to the permissions tab and you check this box is executable. And you hit OK. And you click it and voila, you get a perfectly working Plasma restart script. Okay, it does nothing but restart plasma it doesn't hurt anything um, you could check it out on the internet if you want and it's all good so that's okay but that doesn't really do anything for me like it's not I got to go to my home folder and then I got to find it and then I got to click it so I'm gonna create a shortcut for it and we're gonna make it look nice so you right click anywhere again and you hit create new text file and what you're going to do is you're going to name this the same thing and you're going to name it plasma restart but you're going to instead of putting the at dot sh you're going to put dot desktop and we're going to go out of dolphin again because it doesn't want to refresh for me but that's okay um, and you'll see now that you have a new file here and again it doesn't do anything because there's nothing in it all right, so you right click and you open it with KWrite. All right, and you're going to paste in a uh, some 
code, whatever, writing, whatever you want to call it. And this is just technical stuff for even stuff I don't even know. Because I'm not a coder, okay? I'm just a guy working on a computer. You want to go find out what all that means? You go right ahead. But anyway, you need most of it. Uh, I did try to remove some of it to get the least amount of stuff in there, but it, I started removing type, and it has to have that. It has to have a certain amount of stuff in it. All right. The only thing that we're going to add to this is we are going to tell it, and what this is is this is a shortcut to your script file. So we're going to when on this exact line, we are going to tell it where the script file is, and for the video purposes, I'm not going to type it all out. I'm going to paste the location of where I have the script file in it. So wherever you have it stored, that's where you're going to put the location and you're going to put the full name of it. Now, if you're wondering why I put this little dash here, for whatever reason, Linux doesn't like spaces in things. If you have spaces in it, you got to do certain extra things, like you got to add uh, quotation marks around the whole thing. And I don't want to go through all that, so I just don't put a space in it, and it works fine. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to make it look nice, okay? And we are going to add an icon to it so that it looks nice. All right, now I have icons on my system, so I'm just going to show it a path to an icon. If you don't have any icons to your system on your system, you can always use one of your system icons. You just got to tell it the path and the name of where you want to what do you want to use. All right. So now we put our code in, we put the uh, path to the script file in, and we put the path to the icon in. So we hit save, and voila, we have a brand new looking icon now that may not be the prettiest icon i like this one better but it's a it's a shortcut to this file so they don't have to be in the same folder but they do have this has to be pointed to wherever that is so you have this little info icon here which means you got to do something with it so you click it and kde will ask you hey is this a program you trust um did some guy on the internet tell you to do this? Don't do it. Anyway, um, you hit continue, and there you go. You have a working Plasma Restart Desktop shortcut. Now, you can drag this anywhere you want. You can drag it to your desktop. You can drag it. Uh, it's not able to be dragged to the application launcher, and I don't why I put that in there. But um, it's not a. I don't know why, but you probably can drag it to your panel. Yeah, look at that. Um, so something went right. Can you believe it? <laughs> so either way, it's a working plasma restart. And it's a quick way to, if you're doing themes and you're doing icons and you want to know what it's all going to look like without logging out, there you have it. Okay, um, I think that's all I got for the video. If you have any questions, you have any comments, and like I said, it's it, you know there may be easier ways to do it. This is just the best way that I've found. And uh, let me know what you think. Big Daddy. <laughs>